Pocketbook's InkPad line is one of the most balanced and attractive ebook readers in the market. The entire line consists of nine devices, a few generations shy of the Kindle Basic even. What makes it so good? Well, like we said, it's balanced. It has just enough specs to make it usable in any situation. It has some bonuses like apps as of late, and it looks gorgeous with tactile buttons and a flush screen. So let's dive in and see what the InkPad 4 is all about. This is the InkPad 4, everyone. I love these units. To be completely honest, I actually do pick these up every once in a while in the studio to read something on it. It's not my daily driver, the InkPad devices, but they're very nice. They're very attractive. And what I mean by that is that we are literally attracted to them. You see the beveled edges at the bottom. They're nicely angled. You get these physical buttons and it just looks very nice. It stretches outside of the cookie cutter nature of most e-readers that are guilty of. And this one actually has its own kind of flair. It has some lines at the back that look Look beautiful a removable kind of back plate and you have a contrasting color this one I believe is copper I believe they're calling it and you have some speakers on the side as well I absolutely love the look of this unit the overall usability is hindered by the fact that it's not Android now a lot of people will say hey 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 you know having devices that don't need Google Play is kind of a bonus and you're right I personally love Google Play because it gives me the option of millions of things I can do, whereas this one just has a few little bonus things and we'll explain right now. On the bottom we have library, audiobook, store, notes, and apps. No, notes is not what you're thinking, it's not a stylus on the screen notes, even though the memo notepad icon is the stylus on the screen so it's a little bit confusing but no that is in the app section which we'll show you in a second you have a drop down up top and you have all of your things like the best sellers and you have some books that are preloaded on here yes they actually give you a bunch of preloaded books on this unit which i really love and i always appreciate pocketbook of doing now because this isn't running Google Play and because it doesn't have an app store and the apps aren't Android because it's not Android, unfortunately, there is no way to download any other reader apps. And I'm not sure why that opened in landscape for some reason, but we can rotate that all the way back just the same. So we'll leave it in portrait for now. But yes, you can rotate it. So this is the reading experience on here. You can swipe the page or you can use, oh, thank goodness, the page turn buttons. Everyone, a lot of manufacturers are just keeping away from page turn buttons like the plague for some reason. I'm not sure why people are so hesitant towards it. I feel like an e-reader and page turn buttons kind of go hand in hand, much like an e-reader with a six inch screen that most manufacturers either don't make or have abandoned. It's just very interesting to see the way the industry has moved past a lot of the inherent things that made it iconic so you do have the ability to long press and this is where the notes takes place if you do take a note or a highlight or something they will show up in the note area you can underline you can do all sorts of stuff on there and yes you can actually scribble on ebooks so you can make notes and highlights and everything like that unfortunately no it is not Wacom you have to use your fingertip and we'll tell you this in the note taking section in a little bit but yes you can scribble on these ebooks it's very useful if you want to mark something up and save it for later or maybe even mark something up and export it they first disarmed the sentry under the half deck and released the prisoners and then went forward to consult upon further operations Okay, I gotta say, we have been reviewing a lot of Chinese devices lately, so it's very nice to get a breath of fresh air and hear something that isn't a Chinese person trying to speak English, because I'm sure I would sound terrible if I was trying to speak Mandarin. This is a very natural American voice because we've chosen English American Julie and you can download new voices as well or delete the ones you don't like so it's very nice to see that instead of this kind of overly robotic terrible experience so the speakers are adequate we will get into more speaker quality in the time to come so just stick with us you can go to font settings in which case you can change a bunch of things from the line spacing the margins and the font size or the styles or the italicize and bolt you get a ton of fonts and actually when you scroll something and you get this little inertia kind of feel to it that is the only time you can force this into an a2 mode unfortunately there is no system wide a2 mode but that's just the hand we've been dealt 
let's crank it up all the way to the top just to show you guys what it looks like if we are at full blast because then we can get an idea of how the quality is very high quality we have a lot of good specs being thrown at this we have carta we have 7.8 this is a very high quality reading experience and to go back you press the physical button i absolutely love that audiobooks yes this has speakers as we just showed you via tts so that means you can listen to audiobooks Kempt and side whiskered with an inflamed face and disreputable clothes walked into the room accustomed as i was to my friend's amazing powers in the use of disguises Nothing wrong with the speaker, it's very crisp, it's very bassy, it's a rich sound, it's not very loud, I found it. In terms of the overall volume, we've maxed it out, it's not overly loud, but I kind of wish it would be just a touch louder in terms of the overall range, but that's neither here nor there. You do have the store as well, and Pocketbook is one of the largest manufacturers in the world with e-readers, they're likely the fourth largest outside the big three, and you do have the Pocketbook store, and much like the Amazon, they have this toggle between the bookstore and the audiobook store, so they've taken a page out of that. You can download stuff here. Everything is in euros regardless of what country you're in. You can see we're in Japan, but we still have the euros right there. Notes, we mentioned that. Now, apps is very interesting because apps... They've kind of been getting into this recently, but it's not really anything you should concern yourself with too much. No, there's no app store. No, you can't download anything additional. And no, you can't uninstall anything that's on there. You can simply just add it to the home screen. That's the most you can do. You do get things like Music Player. You can change this into a digital photo frame or you can watch... A, your gallery roll by via your pictures you can go to settings you have dropbox pocketbook cloud and send to pocketbook you also have some things down here like klondike chess and sudoku please excuse my pronunciation but something we want to mention is only he or only hey which is a massive array of libraries you can choose from but the downside is none of the cities we chose actually show up with anything so if you choose things like tokyo los angeles vancouver nothing shows up seattle chicago so it is does seem to be completely isolated to europe but you can just tell how much this is moving in correlation to how slow the sidebar is moving there are countless libraries that you can choose from once you do choose one you get further options from there but it is only really going to pertain to your library of where you are living so unfortunately a lot of the north american crowd is just not really going to work too well the second thing we wanted to show off is scribble because it does seem like pocketbook has made a shift since the pocketbook color and they have allowed you to take notes on pocketbook devices Again, when it comes to the screen, there is no Wacom, but there is a good thing you can do. You can use these, which is a capacitive stylus. Now, I will say this is not a spec powerhouse, so it is going to be slow. And as you, as you see here, if you draw a line, it's going to be broken but then it renders itself and overall it is pretty fast for what you get no we're not going to take real notes and write everything out and write big sentences because that's not what it's about in fact it's not very good but it is interesting how they have this in the first place and actually if you think about it the pocketbook color was the first color e-reader that you could take notes on not wacom but you could take notes you get a couple different pen thicknesses because it's capacitive it doesn't have pressure sensitivity you get some eraser and you actually get the ability to change your text and you can add text onto the screen and undo or redo or delete it all together it is just very interesting to see that this may be an avenue that pocketbook wants to explore in the future digital note taking because it seems so prevalent on all their e-readers in fact they have a dedicated apps window that you travel over there in order to activate it last thing we want to touch on before wrapping up is the glow light it's kind of silly how we're even talking about glow lights anymore and we'll explain why back in the day it was called front light in which they had leds along the bezel either on the sides or on the top and bottom that shoots onto the screen they don't do that anymore they actually have an inline row of leds that illuminate a gel layer therefore from the absolute extreme corners to the sides to the top and bottom and even at dead center mass you are going to see no consistency issues and that's because the gel layer has no choice but to perfectly illuminate itself as long as the gel layer is consistent and more often than not it is you also have a smart light as they're calling it to make it very kind of candle lighty now i will say this is a very intense screen it is so bright 
it's kind of interesting because the volume was so low and the glow light is so bright it's kind of like a kobo glow light but you can turn it down all the same you can find a nice kind of happy medium get a little bit of a stone going on i absolutely love this there's no problem with that whatsoever and it works system wide of course if you are asking very few e-reader lines make it past four or five devices but with the four ink pad models two colors one light one x and a pro this line has something for everyone seemingly if you have any other questions, let us know down below.